Hey guys, so 158, uh, 159 weeks ago, um, I gave up everything, moved to Bulgaria and started my own homestead. So let's see what we've been up to this week since then. Hey guys, so 159 weeks ago uh, here on the homestead. Uh, it's been a fantastic uh, week this week. Uh, my knee problem has come back, but I still managed to get quite a bit done at the start of the week. Um, behind me over here, um, there was a tree that we felled, and we've been chopping that up and moving that around. Um, I've got up the posts for the chicken enclosure, um, and I've got the gate built. Um, I haven't put the wire on because I'm still missing washers, um, but let's see what else we've been up to here on the homestead. Hey guys, I'd just like to say a huge thank you to everyone who's purchased and downloaded Sophie, the book I wrote, uh, available on uh, Amazon through uh, paperback uh, and of course Kindle as well. Um, we had over 130 downloads of the free edition um, and we've also had two sales. So thank you very much to everyone who's reading the book. I really hope you enjoy it. And if you have any feedback, comments or questions about the book, please feel free to drop them below, send me an email or contact me on Facebook. Of course, uh, link in the description if you'd like to go and check out my new book, Sophie, available now. Hey guys, so if you remember last week I showed you something that looked a little bit like this. Uh, it sprouted up, it was the first potato. Uh, well, this week, that one, is actually uh, a lot bigger so that's the one from last week and uh, we've got a lot more growing but uh, yeah it starts out like this and in one week it's growing to a potato plant hey guys so as you can see we've got the uh, posts in uh, these are the posts for the uh, fencing around this area uh, went with the green paint uh, as you can see it does actually camouflage them quite well and they don't really stick out too much uh, in the landscape. So once the fence is up, uh, this will all be done. Hopefully we'll get that done early next week. Well, so the week before last, the cherry trees finished blossoming, and then last week, uh, the apple trees finished blossoming. Uh, and this week, we have the quince trees uh, in full blossom. And uh, they're doing uh, very well this year. Lots and lots of flowers. Only had a couple flowers last year, but uh, both of these are in fact quince. Uh, not the hugest fan of quince, but uh, they make nice rakia, so. Well, pickles has become a cat in a basket. Basket cat. Well, one of the jobs I was planning on doing this week uh, before my legs started playing up was cleaning up this path area and the verges. But I'll show it to you now so you can see what it's like and then next week uh, I will get this cleaned up uh, and we'll have a see, see what a difference a little bit makes. But uh, all the puppies are here, oh, all very excited to see me, good puppies. Well of course both sets of carrots are actually doing uh, very well. The English peas is not doing great but if we come over here to the Bulgarian peas as you can see, they really have taken off. Uh, I've got a nice little forest of Bulgarian peas, but uh, unfortunately the English ones lagging behind, but I'm sure we'll still get a good crop out of them anyway. Well, certainly looks like we're gonna have a uh, lovely strawberry harvest. All of these little white flowers, these are uh, strawberries. Um, so we've got a hell of a lot growing. Uh, they're all through there, and they'll go all the way around back up there. But uh, looking lovely underneath the cherry trees here, uh, just as the sun goes down, another week on the homestead over and done with. <laughs> 